Right, I've got a uh, quick and dirty video for you today. So what we're going to do is some smoked chicken. Chicken's already prepped. Um, I do it spatchcock style as you've seen on some of my other videos if you've seen those. Um, just show you how I set up the grill. I'm, I'm going to use mainly briquette, briquettes for this. Um, put some mesquite and apple chunks in there. Um, Still some lump wood, this is actually last year's charcoal that's been in here, in here for a year. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the chimney going, pour it into the middle and uh, that should spread out, give us 300 degrees for about an hour and a half cook for these chickens and then 15 minutes or so rest. Right, so how I get the charcoal going, I'm going to use a chimney starter today, simply one of these tumbleweeds. Like there, chimney starter. It's going to just sit there where it sets it alight, and then we're going to pour the coals in there. I could put it on the grate, but I'll try and just do it in there. So I'll just use this little implement to get the fire going. Like so. And we'll come back to that probably about 15 minutes, 20 minutes when half of those coals are nice and hot. Right, these coals are nearly hot enough. I'm just going to put a few more briquettes. These are the briquettes I use. You can see that. Um, the weather proper ones are really good. Yeah. My favourite lump wood is some stuff called Fogan. I'll show you that on another video. Some more briquettes around in here before we pour these coals into the middle. Remember, we can always reuse this after we shut it down, so it doesn't matter if you put too much in. And I've made a nice little hole in the middle the hot coals to come go in. And it spreads out, it's actually called the minion method. So if you're doing a real you don't really need to do it for this because we're only going to be cooking it for an hour and a half but if you want to cook for a really long time you put the coals um, you, you put the hot coals in the middle they spread out and it's called the minion method and with that you can a load in this or can go up for sort of 40 hours. So anyway Give it another 10 minutes and then ready to pour the coals in and then we're going to get it up to temp um, which is about 300 degrees Fahrenheit I should say not centigrade. Right so I think these are hot enough now um, so we're going to get the barbecue to 300 degrees Fahrenheit as I said um, so what I'm going to do is I'll pour these into the centre like so Sometimes you don't have to do it like I don't often do this actually. Sometimes I, I just put the wood uh, fire starters in there and let it start that way. But I just thought I'd do it this way today, I don't know why. Um, you see, some of the wood's already caught, some of the smoking wood. That's why the flame's coming up. Now, for those who don't know how to use a Kamado, this is what's called a deflector plate and this stops everything burning with a direct heat. So we probably want, sometimes I do chickens without this in, but I think it's better with it in really. So I'm gonna put this in. And uh, you, you'll see it's got holes around it, which allows some of the air to go through. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got two old trays that I used last year, it doesn't matter if they're dirty. They're just gonna be used to catch the fat. So I'll put those underneath there. Then I'll put the grill on. Then 
what we want to do is set it so it'll get to about 300 degrees now I'll show you the bottom vent so I'll show you how to control the Weber Commando let me just take the camera off the tripod so like with all Commandos it's controlled by airflow and you have a top vent which is the one you use to sort of fine-tune the temperature really and then you have a bottom vent and on these it's set quite simply that's for that's wide open this setting here for grilling hopefully the, I'll try and keep the focus on the actual thing just bear with me let me there we go so this is the wide open you do that to clean it from of the ash as I've showed you on my other video if you haven't seen it please check that out how to operate it and then this is the smoking setting that hole there that means smoke so I often say just sort of underneath and what that's done is it's cr just cracked open the leaves inside and just allows the right amount of air in for, for a smoke which is what we're going to be doing today now we then need to set this top vent and for 300 I think we'll try it round about there and see how we go let this get burning, let it get warming up you see we're approaching 200 already because obviously the uh, charcoal, oops let's focus the charcoal went in um, hot, the briquettes so we should, with it on this setting we should um, creep up we should start to creep up to that 300, I think probably about like that and the trick is to try and hit it so you adjust it down as it approaches so it's um, basically it then just sits at 300 the whole thing has to warm through to make it stable so all in including lighting and getting the thing up to temperature and being ready to cook on any Kamado these are possibly a bit quicker actually but on a Kamado give yourself maybe an hour you don't have to watch it part of it's just leaving the charcoal to go right so about 15 minutes later you'll see that we're virtually up to 300 I have to crack that a bit further open actually it's half open uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to close it down a bit pull it to about there and fingers crossed this won't drop back down and we'll just hit 300 and it'll sit there nicely think about that you get used to how these things cook how your cooker cooks and how to adjust it so yeah think about there let's see if it stays on 300 we'll come back in 10 minutes now and just make sure it's stable before we put the chickens on look at this uh, 10 minutes later rock solid 300 degrees and that's the beautiful thing about a Kamado cooker how it holds that temperature and really you often don't have to do anything with it so now look at these bad boys that I prepared earlier so get that in focus so I prepared these earlier today and what I did was I spatchcocked them which means just take out the backbone and you can see I do that I've got another video I'll link above now and what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a meter thermometer in them to monitor the cook now meters are pretty good there are cheaper options but I find them pretty good so here we go so what I've used on here I've used some Angus and Oik rub um, I can't remember which ones I used on, on, on it this occasion um, but it's just, uh, sweet bones and butts I think I used which is really meant for pork but it'll be good for this um, and I um, put some olive oil on as well to help them crisp up so look at those these are going to be beautiful so what we do is we take the meter I have to charge my phone because it's on low power mode make sure it's connected so I need to get the app up uh, meter there we go It's saying no cook set up, so no cook set up. 
will set it up as chicken, which will cook it to 165 degrees. So we put this in the breast, up to the point where there's a little notch. And what happens is that will read the temperature inside. This will take the amb ambient temperature just to watch the pit itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a cook. It's very easy. I, I hope this will focus. Um, set up cook poultry chicken hole 165 degrees start cook there that's it so we know the the pit is is nice and stable it's not going to be jumping around and what we're going to do is get these two on let them get a beautiful smoke apple and hickory can you imagine what these are going to taste like and they're on a half smoky on here they are going to be fantastic right so we'll see them in about an hour and a half I won't really need to look at them in that time right here we go it's actually only been about an hour because the chickens are smaller than I thought look at that temp held Bang on virtually 300 gram, 290. Let's have a look, I haven't opened this until now since I put them on. Let's see how they're doing. For some reason my meter stopped working about a minute, a few minutes ago. Not sure why. Those babies are looking good. Give my temperature test given my meter's not working. This is my thermo pen. Hundred and sixty-one, sixty-two, fifty-nine. That's seventy, so the legs are done. Fifty-one, yeah, need a bit longer yet. Forty-four, that one. So give them another 10 minutes. But they're looking beautiful, aren't they? Right, the meter burst back into life. Um, I think it just needed moving closer. So um, these should be done now. It's telling me it's done. At least the one where the, the thermometer's in should be done. Look at them. Look at them. Absolutely beautiful. Hundred and sixty six, perfect. And sixty eight, yeah, this might not be quite done. No, that one I'm gonna leave on for a little bit longer. So it's obviously we seem to be getting more heat from this side of the grill. So let's take this one off, which is fine because me and my son are, ha are having it first and my wife can't picking my daughter up soon, maybe he's gonna be waiting. So Let's get it onto the board. You can see this. Yeah. Smells fantastic. Give that one another 10 minutes. So we're going to let this rest now. The meter's telling me to let it rest for five minutes or so six minutes to go resting see this six minutes to go resting I can see that. and then uh, we're good to go let's I'll just show you this up close because it's it's worth having a look at really small it's medium UK it is on the small side is where we've got two for four. Look at that. Ready. It's rested, it's ready. So let's give it a bit of a taste test. Let's see how this cuts apart. Oh yeah. Look at that. Is there smoke ring in there? Hopefully you can see that.
haemoglobin. Smoked chicken will never be, um, will often be pinkish. Let's just take a slice off this and give it a try. Very, very tender. See how juicy that looks? Let's have a bit of taste. Oh, the rub works really well. Absolutely wonderful, that. Delighted. Thanks for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe, catch some further videos.